Hey yo, it's E King Fight News and Bob Harum fires shots at Eddie Hearn, completely rips down his um, what he's been doing with the zone. Uh, Bob Harum went in to say, you know what, the zone would have been better off making Oscar De La Hoya their front guy instead of Eddie Hearn. So you know what it is, man. It's E King Fight News. And we got more on this. All right. So let's get into it. This is what Bob Arum had to say. The zone itself would be much better advised having fighters or fights other than Canelo, which will get a lot of attention. They would be much better off the zone turning over their domestic programming in the U.S. to Oscar's Golden Boy. At least Oscar knows the U.S. market particularly the Hispanic market. Eddie doesn't have a clue. For example, he did a fight in Philadelphia on Friday night. There wasn't much attendance. What, one of the reasons is they sold all of their tickets out of the UK when the fight is in Philadelphia. <laughs> in my best Bob Aaron voice. So you know what, man? You know, Bob Aaron. Is saying exactly what a lot of us were saying about, you know, Eddie Hearn pumping out, you know, all of his fights on the zone and thinking it's going to be a big success, thinking this is really the next big thing for the U.S. market. You know what? Not everything works like that, man. You, you can't just come in shit. You can't just come in here w with an app and with Canelo that's not even your fighter. And expect to take over the game. You know, it, 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 it was never going to be easy. That much is true. It was never going to be easy for Eddie Hearn, man. To try and, you know, be the front man for some launching in the U.S. market. When everybody knows this guy to be a U.K. promoter. With U.K. fighters. Guys like Ant the only guy based out of the U.S., the Eddie Hearn had that had some kind of buzz surrounding him is Danny Jacobs, right? And he was able to uh, snatch Danny Jacobs uh, from Al Heyman. You know, probably the only guy that said, you know what, Eddie's got a great deal for me. Maybe I should take it. And oddly enough, that would that that was a good pickup from Eddie Hearn. I gotta say. Out of all the middleweights, Danny Jacobs was probably the best free agent at that time. And now it's finally paying off as Danny Jacobs will be fighting Canelo Alvarez in May. That is the biggest fight scheduled on that platform, which is the zone. I mean, do they have any other big fights worth watching? Anthony Joshua comes at, you know... a. a a second, secondary kind of fight in what is billed as something of a wash. This, this is supposed to be easy work for AJ. Point blank and period. It's supposed to be easy work for Anthony Joshua. So we're going to have to see how it plays out. We're going to see if the, how all this plays out because the zone, they just dropped... What, 40 million on Gennady Golovkin? A guy that's how old? How many years out of his prime is Gennady Golovkin? The last time I saw a prime Gennady Golovkin was when he fought fucking, you know, Gabe Rosado and shit, yo. When's the last time Gennady Golovkin looked to be a prime middleweight, man? When's the last time when he fought fucking that dude from Australia? When he fought Danny Jacobs, did that look like a prime Golovkin? I don't think so. This dude been past his prime for quite some time. <laughs> if you know, if you know what I mean, yo, Gennady Golovkin. Who did he fight before he fought Danny Jacobs? Who did he fight before Danny Jacobs? Gennady Golovkin was still beaten up on bum ass fighters. He was still doing it. Remember Willie Monroe Jr.? He beat up on Willie Monroe. He beat up on uh, 
It's another another Eastern European man he beat up on. Ah, I remember his name. Fucking Matthew Macklin he beat up on. Beat up on that other guy. Who almost beat Sergio Martinez. That other guy almost beat Sergio Martinez. Man, I forget his name. Anyways. Anyways. Eddie Hearn finally getting some grip. You know, finally. Looking to sign some big names. Who's he signed recently? Sri Sake Sorungvisai. Signed with the Zona Matchroom. Who else? Who else? I mean, shit, maybe Bob Aaron's right. I mean, if you're supposed to be doing these shows in the U.S. and you're not signing U.S. fighters, man, something's something's wrong. Something's already wrong. Because Eddie Hearn's been signing Dimitri Bivols, Sor Rungvisai's and shit, signing guys like... um, I mean, who else has he signed? I see... you You go to his Instagram, let's find out. Honestly, let's find out. Who has Eddie Hearn been signing these days? All right, let's check this out, man. Eddie Hearn, he always posts the fighters he's been signing on his Instagram. So let's let's see. He got Maurice Hooker. Okay. Okay, he got Maurice Hooker. Mighty Mo inks a new deal. Dalton Smith. Anybody ever heard of this guy? Welcome to the Team GB amateur star, Dalton Smith. Coming made live on Sky Sports Boxing and DAZN USA. Great Britain amateur star Dalton Smith. All right, who who else he been signing? Who else he be signing? Rosado, Sol- yeah, he signed Gabe Rosado. Welcome to the team, Israel Madromov. I don't know who that is. <laughs> I, I, I don't know who that is. Who is that? Welcome to the team, the dream, Israel, Madramov, a devastating puncher and an amateur standout, captured the WBA boxing intercontinental title in his first fight, he returns this Saturday on the zone. okay, ain't nobody heard of that dude. I mean, for real. Welcome to the team, Austin Williams. Hey, Austin Williams in the building. It's supposed to be a top amateur fighter, you know. I, I I heard some things about Austin Williams. Not bad, not bad. But I mean, could he be doing more? I mean, what's he going to do with Philip Hergovic? <laughs> look, look at this. Eddie Hearn, you suck. But thank you for promoting the next future champion. I mean, what do y'all think? Wait, what do y'all think about what the job Eddie Hearn's been doing? I mean, he, he keeps signing these guys. I I just don't see him, you know, I just don't see him really in the big fights. Let me know what you guys think. Smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Case in point, does don't just got Gennady Golovkin. Is he going to step up and face American? Demetrius Andrade, is he going to do that? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And case in point, man. Y'all know what it is, man. It's King Fight News, man. You already know what it is. Philip Hergovic is a young heavyweight. Well, you know, you, you know who's got the heavyweight division locked down, right? I mean, shit, we can keep on going. Hey, there's so wrong Vasai. This dude's big in Thailand. This dude's not big in the U.S. Raymond Ford. Oh, buddy. Welcome to the Team U.S. Amateur Star. Ray Savage, 856, one of the very best. Pro debut, March 15th. I didn't hear about it. In his hometown of Philadelphia. Oh, that, that was that show Bob Aaron was talking about, man. Yeah, man. Ain't nobody saw him. <laughs> ain't, no, ain't nobody saw him. Anyways, Issy King Fight News. Let me know what you guys think. Smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It is what it is. Peace.